say uh, uh, happy Palm Sunday. I wish we were gathering and passing out the the palms, but you know, uh, considering what we have to deal with, we're going to make the most of it today. Uh, what I've done is I've, uh, you know, since I'm still uh, in this recovery phase, and because you know I have to be uh, careful uh, who I'm around just because of the risks that are out there. Uh, we, I'm doing this from my house today, and I thought it would be appropriate uh, to have uh, Trey do a song. So we're gonna, we're gonna have him do a song, and then I'm gonna bring you the word of God. I have something that I believe that God wants you to hear this morning to strengthen you, encourage you, uh, to give you uh, that that hope and encouragement to face and to endure all that we um, are asked to do on a daily basis. Uh, God bless, and let, let's uh, let's go to Trey at this time. I want to scream it out from every mountain top. Your goodness knows no bounds. Your goodness never stops. Your mercy follows me. Your kindness fills my life. Your love amazes me. And I sing because you are good, and I dance because you are good, and I shout because you are good, you are good, you're good to me, yes. Nothing and no one comes anywhere close to you. The earth and oceans deep only reflect this truth. And in my darkest night, you shine as bright as day. Your love amazes me. And I sing because you are good, and I dance because you are good, and I shout because you are good, you are good to me. And I sing because you are good, and I dance because you are good, and I shout because you are good, you are good to me. And with a cry of praise, my heart celebrates that you are good, you are good. And in the sun or rain, my life will proclaim that you are good, you are good. And in the cry of praise, my heart will proclaim that you are good, you are good. And in the sun or rain, my life celebrates that you are good, you are good. And I sing because you are good, and I dance because you are good, and I shout because you are good, you are good to me, and I sing because you are good, and I dance because you are good, and I shout because you are good, you are good, you're good to me. good to me. Praise God. Praise God. You know that. Remember, God is good. The Bible is true. And it's working in my life. Say that with me one time. God is good. The Bible is true. 
and it is working in my life. I want to I want us to uh, take a look today. We're our um, the title of my message is "Don't Miss Your Opportunity," and um, and I'm going to uh, start out in Matthew chapter 24. And Jesus, of course, he's with the disciples, and of course, they always have questions, and he always has the answer. And um, they were asking him, "How would they know about his? Uh, how would they know about his coming? His you know, when he's going to come back. And he, he, he said this to them. He said, see to it that no one misleads you. And, and I'm going to stop right there for a second. That's in Matthew chapter 24, verse 4. It says, see to it that no one misleads you. You know, there are many voices out there. There are many people out there. There are many thoughts and ideas that are going on uh, whether it's in the news, whether it's in your family, whether it's in your in the people that you hang out with, everybody has an opinion today, and nobody is quiet about it. And, and the thing is, is a lot of times I think that we can be misled or led down a path away from our walk with God. And, and, and what I want to get to is this: is that this time of um being uh in the house this time of 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 uh social distancing if you will this time um we should be utilizing this time to work on our relationship with god these troubling times aren't the time to um look for um like i talked about before blame it's not the time to get caught up in the irrational thinking. Yes, there's a lot of us are frustrated. A lot of us are going through uh, things, uh, you know, the, 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 you know, trying to pay bills, trying to, um, uh, uh, you know, make ends meet, you know, not knowing what tomorrow may bring. But, 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 he, but, but Jesus said this, he said, See to it that no one misleads you. He doesn't want us to be misled during this time. It says, for many will come in my name saying, I am the Christ and will mislead many. And then we're going to go down to verse number uh, six. It says, you will be hearing of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not frightened for these things must take place place the things that are happening the bible tells us these things must take place there's going to be wars and rumors of war there there are going to be these different things and fear is is not this type of fear frightened is not from god he he said i came to bring you peace love and a sound mind we you know um you know and i'll get into it later but but Perfect love cast out fear. And, and, and here it says, you know, there'll be wars and rumors. Or you'll be frightened for those things must take place. But that is not yet the end. This is not the end. This is not the end. We, it, it, he goes on to say that, he said this, it says, for nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And in various places, there will be famines and earthquakes. And we, we've seen that um, even in, in, the, in the time of, uh, of this uh, pandemic, there has been earthquakes uh, right before this big outbreak. I mean, Australia the, was, uh, was in flames. I mean, we see these things coming. We've, we've seen these things happen. He said, but all these things in verse 8, uh, Matthew 24, verse 8 says this, but all these things are merely the beginning of birth pangs. See, this will pass. These things are going to pass. And so now in the middle of what we're facing is the, t is the time to ask God, what would you have me to do? Just those simple words, Lord, what would you have me to do? Calling out to him, relying on him looking toward him 
putting our trust in him, knowing that he loves us so much that he has a plan, he has a purpose, and that, that this is not the end for you. This too shall pass. Your money problems will pass. Your, your relationship problems will pass. These other things will pass when we begin to get our relationship with God correct and right. I want to uh, I want us to turn uh, to the book of first. Um, I'm going to I want to uh, skip ahead here. I want to I want us to turn to the book of first John and starting in chapter number four. It says this. It says, beloved, let us love one another for love is from God and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. The one who does not love does not know God for what God is love. See, there's a lot of definitions of love, but there's one that's perfect, and that's God. God is love. And, and the reason why I bring that up is if, you, if we go back to Matthew chapter 24, it says that during this time, we're going to go down to verse number nine. It says, then they will deliver you um, it says, then they will deliver you to the tribulation and you and you will ki- and they and will kill you and you will be hated by all nations because of my name. At that time, many will fall away and betray one another and hate one another. It goes on to say this. It says, and many false prophets will arise and will mislead many because lawlessness is increased. Most people's love will grow cold. And that's Matthew chapter 24, verse 11. And what I want to talk to you about is they had hatred for one another and their love grew cold. We can't let our love grow cold during this time we can't love the first one of the first things that the enemy will try to attack us on I don't care if you've been a pastor for 50 years I don't care I've been at this long enough to see certain things it doesn't matter if you're in an office if you're a lay person if you're a, a church attender what the enemy will first try to attack is our love walk. He'll try to get you into debates and fights. I mean, debating, the, you know, iron sharpens iron. You know, there, there, there's, there is constructive uh, conversations that we can have, even though we may differ on our points of views. We still can walk in love toward one another. But the hatred, the pure hatred for mankind, we need to get back to where we love God's creation. We love the things that he has placed in our life. We began to grow in appreciation because if you think about it, God loved us so much. And this Palm Sunday, you know, we're, we're, we're reminded going into this week how much God loved us. See, Jesus was the lion of Judah, but he also was the lamb. And the thing was, was when he was on the cross, he wasn't slain as the lion. He was slain as the lamb. See, there, there's a discernment that we must take. Jesus had to use discernment. The Bible says he could have called legions of angels to take him off that cross. He, they, you know, all of heaven could have wiped out all of the armies and all the people that kept him in, in jail and all the ones that, that, um, beat him and plucked his beard and and did all the cruel things to him but the thing that kept him there was his love for us and and him discerning the moment that at that time he needed to be the lamb he need he was the sacrificial lamb he was the one that said yes i will do this i will take on all of the faults all of your sins All of the things, now is the time to share that love with other people. 
don't miss your opportunity to grow the kingdom of God. But it starts at home. It starts with your family. It starts with the, your, your children. It starts with those that are close to you. It starts with your neighbors. It starts in your neighborhood. I'm believing that, that during this time, that, that this is time of personal growth. See, we need to get back to, you know, we, we've had a lot of, there's a lot of great men and even women of God out there that are doing some great things for the Lord. And I think, I think what ends up happening is a, as Christians, we become spectators. But now it's time for us to be participators. God wants us to get into the game. It's time for you to go through your house and pray protection against the coronavirus you know when 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 jesus when when uh, moses stood before pharaoh and god told him that hey the death angel was coming well each household had to go home and and prepare the sacrifice and paint the doorpost of their dwelling place to be protected they had to do it moses didn't do it the Aaron didn't do it for them. They each individual household, household leaders, fathers, mothers, they had to, they had to take that sacrifice, their, their best of the best, and, and give it up so they may have protection. This is what we have to do during this time. We have to be praying. Now's the time to be reading the Bible with your family. Now's the time to be 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 un, get understanding of the things that that you've had questions of. Yes, God, the fivefold ministry has not gone anywhere. We're here. If you scroll through Facebook, you'll find somebody preaching the word of God. But the thing that I that I want to want you to want you to realize is we have to continue to work on our love walk because that's what when because when frustration sets in. And when and when we when when we're when we're not allowed to do certain things that we're used to doing and things change because see we're creatures of habit and when things change we we don't know a lot of times what to do with those things when they change. Well, now's not the time to fight fight our brothers and sisters in Christ. Now's not the time to fight uh, uh, against humanity. Now's the time to. Real fighting comes through spiritual warfare, comes through through prayer. And it's not this spooky thing. It's, it, it's, it's simply going to God, praying the word of God. You know, the thing that I want to tell you is, you know, uh, for several days, I was unable to, to, to talk. I had a tube in my throat. And, and there was one thing that God, there was one thing that really stood out to me that God was saying to me during that time. Stay biblically centered. And I want to challenge you today. Stay biblically centered. But if you don't know what the Bible's saying, if you don't know what's in there, then you can't, you, you may be going astray. Don't let yourself be pulled astray but stay on the word of God. If it's not in the word, and then you have to discern the moment that you're living in. Well, I want I want to I want to close because with, with something here, and you know we're talking about love and in our love walk and the opportunity to share the love of God with people, to to share that you know hey where our light shines, where that comes from, we we, we should be people of light in this dark time. We should be people of hope, but I want to. I want us to turn um, uh, to back to First John chapter four. I want to look at verse twelve. It says, "No one has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God abides in us, and His love is perfected in us." See, if you don't want to fail, then abide in God, and he'll abide in us. And when we, when we walk in that love, he'll, because why? He first loved us. When you were a sinner, when you were, when you were doing all the dirty deeds that, 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 that you were doing wrong, even the things that you, you may find yourself having to repent of now, 
God still loves and he forgives you. And there are people out there that we need to show that love and forgiveness to. And, 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 when, we, and when we walk in that and he abides in us, his, his love, not our love, his love is what perfected in us. His love is perfect. His love is flawless. His love is unrepentant. His love is, 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 is the greatest love there is. And that is perfected in us when we begin to love one another. You know, what, uh, the Apostle Paul had a great revelation of love in 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 13, and, uh, and, you know, starting in verse 1. And it says this, it says, he said this, he says, If I speak with the, the, the tongues of men and of angels, but do not have love, I have become a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the uh, gift of prophecy and know all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all, all faith so as to move mountains but do not have love, I am nothing. We are nothing without that love. The love of God, his love shining in us and through us unto humanity. You want to see the world change? Then we need to be the change. We need to be the, the change makers. We need to set the tone walking in his love. Oh, it, it's, it, it's easy to say, but when you got to walk in it, and you got to face those things. You face all your frustrations. And you face all the letdowns. And you face all the betrayal and all the lies and all the things and, 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 and that the enemy tries to work through people. But you have to, we have to find it within ourselves because greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. Greater is God that's in you, that's perfecting his love in you than he that's in the world. And, and so, so without that love, we're, we're, we're nothing. And it goes on to say this, and if I give all my possessions to feed the poor, and if I surrender my body to be um, burned, but do not have love, it profits me nothing. See, you could give away everything. You can do great all these great exploits. But man, if we're not walking in that love of God, then we're nothing. It says love is what? Patient. Love is kind. Love is not jealous. Love does not brag and is not what? Arrogant. Does not act unbecomingly. It does not seek its own. Is not um, provoked and does not take into account a wrong suffered. This is the definition of love according, this is Paul's revelation of that love. He goes on to say this, it says, um, it bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. See, it's God's love that will help us endure what, you're, what we're facing right now. I don't care if it's the pandemic. I don't care if it's uh, paying bills. I don't care if once all this passes, there's going to be things that come against us. But the thing I want you to know is that love endures it all. And I want to I close with this scripture in verse 8, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13. It says this, it says, love never fails. You want to be successful? Then walk in God's love because it never fails. You can't go wrong walking in his love. Well, that's, that's what I have for you today. I, I, if you're out there, I want to share a couple things with you. If you go to the World Impact Network. That's www.theworldimpactnetwork.com. And you click on videos. You can watch this sermon again. And we have other sermons and other short 
one minute videos there that you could that would encourage you. We also have a button where you could submit prayer requests. And so if you are facing something, you're not alone. Jesus is there. God is there. But you can also reach out to us and one of our prayer warriors will get that email and, uh, you know, we'll get back with you and we'll pray. We'll, we want to pray with you as you go through the things that you face um, uh, during the week. But that's the worldimpactnetwork.com. Um, and you'll find um, where you can submit a prayer request on there as well. And if you would like to download the World Impact Network, the WIN app, to your smartphone, um, you go to the worldimpactnetwork.com slash app. And there you'll have links, whether to download it to an iPhone or Google Play. And, um, and that way you can get... Um, now, it doesn't do you any good if you don't go back in and log in, and then you'll get notifications when things are, are posted there. So, hey, God bless. I look forward to talking to you next week. Uh, we may be doing some other things here soon uh, with uh, b uh, Bible study and other things. And, hey, I look, I'm looking forward to gathering with you again soon. We'll talk to you soon. God bless. Bye now.